So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about the Blackwing Long Point Pencil Sharpener. That's this right here. It's a premium pencil sharpener that uses what Blackwing calls a one-step design. That means it only has one hole. And uh, we'll get into that, why it matters in a little bit. But this is it. It, Like I said, it has a premium design, which means it costs about $20, which is on the expensive side, for a portable pencil sharpener. And it uses this really nice all-metal design. It's, it's a pretty good-sized sharpener. Uh, it's one two, about two and a half inches long and about an inch in diameter, give or take. And uh, really quite a handsome piece. It's, uh, I guess, hexagonal. It's made of aluminum. I believe it's aluminum, like a powder coated aluminum. Has this really nice knurling here, kind of like a, a Rotring 600 type deal going on. This is all metal. There's some, I think this is still metal here, this insert. Although it looks like it has a different texture. It looks like plastic, but I believe it's also metal. And you can take it apart. Got a lot of nice threading here. And then the sharpener piece comes out. You can see the blade is replaceable. So you can swap that out when uh, it gets dull. And then that is just your little container for your shavings. So really cool design. You can see it uses a little... I don't call it a gear, but these little indentations here, and that's what prevents the blade from twisting on the inside of the body as you sharpen the pencil. And you can see it's a little bit off center there, and but these are both on center, so you could screw it in, no problem. Then you could tighten it down. Very, uh, very nice powder coated aluminum. Although it's still pretty light, it has some weight to it, and it says black wing. And that is it. Comes with this nice little box here. It's all black on black, which is uh, really nicely designed and very, very good looking. It's Blackwing. They don't go by Palomino Blackwing anymore. Uh, you know, Palomino is like the company and Blackwing is the type of pencil. Pencil. They've just kind of branded as Blackwing these days. And so they're like, here's an older pencil. It says Palomino. Blackwing, but if you go to the website, it's just like Blackwing Pencils and Blackwing 602. They've kind of dropped Palomino from the brand. Uh, so here are the, I guess, the instructions. Uh, One-step sharpening, manual rotation, I mean, obviously, and strong curved point. Not too much else to it. Oh, there is the website, Blackwing 602. And then uh, comes with this nice padded foam. It's cut out there. Fits in perfectly okay so let's test this thing out uh, I have a unused pencil right here this is a Mitsubishi 9800 pretty popular pencil I like these a lot and not sharpened so we'll start it fresh and we'll see what the long point does so a lot of nicer pencil sharpeners, or I guess higher performance pencil sharpeners, have two holes. One designed to sharpen essentially the wood part, the cone, you might call it, and then another to sharpen the uh, the graphite or the lead. And that is just a good way to do an optimum point. And if you want a very long point pencil, that is uh, a very popular technique. And it doesn't require you know, a very expensive pencil sharpener to do it. This little one right here, I really like this uh, Sunstar. It's a two point, you know, two step sharpener and this thing costs like two bucks. This is actually a very good pencil sharpener and uh, a lot of value for the money, even though, you know, it's all plastic. It's not gonna last forever. So the problem of course with long point sharpeners is that they, they do really actually take forever. Just a quick intermission here. The pencil sharpeners, sometimes they feel like they're not working anymore. And what happens is it's probably not that your pencil sharpener broke. It's a lot more common that you got something stuck in the end, like right here. Clearly I have a bit of colored pencil at the end and it's preventing this from going all the way in. So it kind of feels like your pencil sharpener is not working and it's just kind of jammed. So what you have to do is stick something in there, uh, not a fingernail, but uh, you know something skinny like a paperclip, and get that piece out. 
Uh, you can try another pencil, but you're gonna have to go from the other direction. If it's really bad, uh, you'll just have to take the blade off. And that did it. Okay, so that is the long point. It is a relatively long point. And what I mean by that is, if you look at the angle of the, uh, basically from the tip to the end of the cone where it stops sharpening, uh, that's a, you know, it's a pretty long angle that's created. Uh, that's say it's like a very acute, I guess you could say. Uh, see a nice consistent turn here. That's good. Yeah, the wood's like a little cut up, but not that bad. Uh, this blade has some miles on it. I've been using, using the sharpener for a few months now. Uh, nice point, not too long, not too short. Uh, if you want a very long point, here's an example. Uh, I mean, clearly this is like extremely long, almost comically long. I would say too long even. And that's something you would do with a, a more specialized sharpener. Uh, and then here is sort of a, this is the stock sharpening that came with this pencil. So you can see that one is shorter, right? It's a, uh, a wider angle. So that is the long point right there. Quite a nice middle ground. It's not super long, definitely not short. So pretty cool there. Is there a slight, slight curvature to my eyes? Yes, maybe. Yeah, there is. There's a slight, slight concavity to that, which is nice. It adds a little bit of a nice look to it and uh, it could help with just kind of removing some material here so you uh, can kind of see the paper better. And again, it mainly, it looks cool. Okay, so how is this sharpener when you're converting over? Kind of here is a, uh, what is this? We got a Palomino Blackwing 602. So kind of the pencil that I would say this was intended to work with this sharpener. And it has a uh, not very long point on it. Uh, let's see. Uh, pretty close, but it wasn't previously sharpened with this black wing. So let's do the conversion over and we'll see how it goes. With a conversion like this, and it's not really a conversion, you're just moving from one sharpener to the other, you're basically changing the angle at the end of the pencil. So sometimes uh, you'll get into a situation where it's cutting only wood, not the end of the, uh, the graphite part or it's uh, you know carving at too steep an angle so it doesn't sharpen. Uh, you can get in some uh, weird situations, but we see a really, really nice point here. Wood was cut more cleanly this time. Uh, it's probably just better wood. This one uses this nice California cedar. It might be a little bit fancier than this stuff. Uh, yeah, that looks great. And uh, so this is the Palomino. Uh, again, I don't even know if it's Palomino anymore. Just call it the black wing. And this is a 602 with the long point sharpener. Here are some of the shavings from this pencil. Uh, I don't know if anyone really wants to see those or not, but on, on the short side. Uh, was I was doing a lot of basically correcting of angles. You know, if you're doing it now, where you're cutting from the same angle, uh, because it's this pencil was previously sharpened with this, we should see a cut that gets basically the full length of that cut area or the cone, if you want to call it that. See, so yeah, definitely a, a longer cut there. And you'll see a nice long shaving, which means that blade is really doing its job. This piece right here, there's no good way to remove the pencil shavings. They kind of just fall out. There's no mechanism to push them out. Uh, you don't want to like blow in it, obviously. It would just get dust all over the place. And sometimes they get a little bit packed in there, but really you want to clean this thing out preemptively so it's not uh, getting really packed in there. So I could keep sharpening pencils all day, uh, but I think that will probably give you a pretty good idea of what's going on with the Blackwing Long Point Sharpener. It's a nice pencil sharpener. Uh, I wouldn't say it's particularly uh, much better than some cheaper sharpeners. 
you know, again, something like this Sunstar, they, they do essentially the same job. I wouldn't say one is better than the other from a sharpening standpoint. You know, obviously this is all metal. It's going to last forever. It's like indestructible. So for $20, you'll have this thing forever. Uh, whereas this one, you know, this is going to break any day now. Just it's made of plastic. It's not super well made. Uh, and if you keep it with you, it could break. Uh, you know, if you keep it at your desk, is it going to break? Eh, maybe, maybe not. You know, the plastic that's holding those blades in place, I don't have a huge amount of faith in that. Whereas this all metal build, uh, it's going to last. But at the end of the day, will one of these outlast, you know, uh, 12 of, maybe not 12, like uh, 10 of these, whatever, you know, $20 versus 10 of these for $2. Unlikely, but the Blackwing is very nice. It's really well made. It makes a really nice gift and it looks great on your desk. So that's why you're buying it. And uh, it's quite nice. They did, a, they did a really good job with this. So I like this thing a lot. Maybe not the best use of money at the end of the day, but for $20, I think it does still offer some pretty good value. So that should cover it. That's the, uh, the Blackwing One Step Long Point Pencil Sharpener.